there and welcome to the King George Inn and the Jill House Tavern. My name is Kelly Martin Dimity. Um, I have actually um, did the marketing and management of on and off of this building for the past five years. It's a very unique place because it was once the old Coburg Jail, which was one of the largest jails in Canada, uh, holding up to 100 inmates, both male and female. The back of the hotel is actually the jail. So many of our washrooms, our rooms, are actual jail cells with original showers. Our restaurant um, has original cell blocks for bathrooms. Um, we get a lot of uh, tourists in off the 401 because we offer a free self-guided museum down in the basement, which is actually the original, kept original, solitary confinement cells. Inmate processing area, original showers. Um, so we get a lot of people in off the 401 doing that uh, just to, to check that out. And the courtyards, which have uh, inscriptions from inmates dating all the way back to the early 1900s. We also get a lot of uh, paranormal uh, psychic investigators here. We have uh, an annual event uh, with uh, Jackie Dennison from the TV show Rescue Mediums and her partner Steve Furlong from Feathers Academy in the UK. We also get uh, psychics, uh, prison guard psychics from Kingston and Ottawa that come in and they come in annually as well. And that's kind of ironic because they are prison guards and um, they, they tend to think there's a lot of paranormal activity here because there are prison guards coming back into a prison. So, and they are in, uh, paranormal investigators. One of the interesting things people find coming in off the 401 and asking about the, the jail is that it actually didn't close until 1998. So it hasn't been a hotel that long. On site we have a Scottish pub, which is very, very popular with the Scottish people. And um, one of the interesting things about my role being a co-owner here is that my father was a prison guard at Workworth Penitentiary for 30 years. He was a piper, uh, a pipe major of a pipe band for 19 years. And he was piper, the official piper for the Solicitor General of Canada up until uh, he passed away 10 years ago. So uh, a lot of the times I actually feel like he's following me around in here laughing because I'm, I own a Scottish pub in a jail. One of the things we tell people here is this is the jail where you get to keep the keys. And it's literally true because when you check in here, we are an inn, which means that you're, you are on your own in the evening, and a lot of people actually just tour around the jail with their key. Um, other than the restaurant, they can actually wander around and check things out. We have the original prisoner courtyards in the backyard, um, two of them. One of them was originally the women's courtyard, um, and the other the men's. And uh, we've actually had people hold weddings here in our event room uh, downstairs. Jack and Jill Staggs are a lot of fun here uh, with the jail cells and everything. So very cool theme and I've had uh, brides put the ball and chain on their husband while they're getting married here. Uh, we do have the event room downstairs that holds up to 60 people. Um, our, all of our courtyards are licensed and um, are, along with our restaurants. So we're actually licensed for 312 or 340 people. Um, our bathrooms here in the building um, are actual cell blocks and jail cells. Um, some of our rooms are real jail cells converted into hotel rooms. Um, some of them sleep four in a four jail bunk room. Some sleep three with a queen and then a bunk on top. Downstairs in our self-guided museum. We have samples of bulletproof glass that was removed from the from the actual restaurant portion which was originally the uh, control room. You can tour the drunk tank where people used to uh, be put in, um, you know, taken off the street by the police and put in the drunk tank for the night. We have the original fingerprint processing area with the original showers. Um, we have a lot of we have some exhibits down there with some of the uh, statistics of the jail, um, prisoner uh, inspections, and that kind of thing. One of the things you'll get to do if you actually do come to one of the paranormal events here is you'll be taken into some of the areas of the hotel that guests don't go in, such as the attic, which actually has the original maid's quarters from the governor's mansion, uh, way up in the in the middle of the attic. 
Um, there are several attics and there's actually a lookout tower up on the top of the roof as well. So those are things that you actually would get to do if you attended one of the uh, Rescue Mediums events here. Room 10 was originally the nurse's station in the, uh, in the jail and um, also the psych ward. A lot of people don't like that room. Um, it does have a bathtub, a big uh, bathtub in the room and as a matter of fact this was one of the only jails in the women's ward that ever had a bathtub in it back in the 30s. So that's quite unique. Room 8 has actually a doorway, stairs and a doorway that is locked going up into the attic. A lot of people won't sleep in that room but a lot of people love to sleep in that room. Um, we do keep the door locked but usually people pick it because they're wondering what's up in the attic and they go up the stairs. In the front of the hotel so the rooms are, are bright and Victorian uh, look and um, in the back of the hotel the rooms are more themed but original jail cells. Some of the rooms have exposed bathrooms so not great if you bring a family in those particular rooms. So we always suggest that people go on our website, look at the different themed rooms and know what you're getting before you show up. The website for the hotel is www.thekinggeorgian.com. The phone number for this establishment is 289-252-1913. And we are located in Coburg, Ontario, Canada. Thank you for visiting us and hope to see you here at the King George Inn.